you have to, you know, uh, you have to adapt because uh, you know business is a changing world. It's all about adaptability. It's all about mindset. Do you have the mindset to turn failure into success? Let's find out. Libby Gill spent 15 years as a top executive for companies like Universal Studios, Sony Pictures, and Turner Broadcasting before realizing her true passion was helping others follow their dreams. Now she teaches people the skills for overcoming failure and living their bigger life. Libby, you've developed a test to see if people are actually ready to embrace failure and go for their dream. Let's go right to the test for people at home. First question people have to say to themselves is, do you keep your mistakes to yourself? You can't hide it. If you hide your mistakes, you're not going to learn anything from it. And the best thing about sharing it is that you find out you're not so special. Everybody has shortcomings. And you're not so dumb either. Right. It's not whatever you thought. So once you say to somebody, they go, yeah, I got it. And, and so that's just kind of say it out loud. Get so it out. First thing, system. get it out there. Second. Do you try new things only if you're sure you can succeed? Well, that is the way to stay in the mediocrity zone if you want to just keep doing what you're doing every day for the rest of your life. You're laughing at that when she says that. You're, that put a big smile on your face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, the price of, I mean, starting airlines, not easy, obviously, right? So you, the, the kind of the, the hovering failure thing out there is actually kind of exciting to you in a, in a strange way. You got to, you don't only embrace it, you kind of, you relish it. Well, if, if you really believe in what you what you do and how you do it, and, and that you you know you you really think that you have the right formula, you, you have to go for it. All right, Libby. Third question to see if people are ready to embrace failure. Do you become very cautious after something doesn't work out? Well, some people shrink back inside and they go back to their old ways. They convince themselves that didn't work. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to put my hand out and get it slapped. And fourth, do you immediately try to forget your failures? Which is crazy making. If you forget your failures, you're denying that they happened. Therefore, you're not doing the learning that you need to take it to the next step. Go back, dig into them, learn from them. And finally, do you think all failure is shameful? There, there's a, a belief that some people have that, that failure is humiliating. It's wrong on some level. It's shameful. So you got to go into where are those voices, where are the old tapes running that are telling you that? Get rid of that old baggage and move on. Move on. Okay, there's so much. We got, this is such an interesting topic. We've got so much to talk about tonight. Let's get to our playbook plays before we move on. The key to your emotional endurance comes from accepting that some failures are inevitable and turning those failures to your advantage. The right way to fail is to embrace a calculated risk. The wrong way is to fail by repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Own your failures, admit to the mistakes, apologize for them, and correct the problems. Be right back, a lot to do.